This week we emerge from the chateau and get some sun on our ghostly complexions. Lincoln gets back on the tractor, and we reveal a new addition to our furry chateau creatures. I try to stay organized by making lists. Here's one I started this week. There's really just too much to write down, so we headed outside to start on the most obvious jobs. Exciting tasks like removing moss from a roof and picking weeds from gravel. I'm not kidding when I say I actually find these jobs quite relaxing. In the background, you can hear chainsaws from all different directions. So today, everybody's out sawing things, cutting trees down. So I'm out here because I needed a break from the inside stuff. I, I love it out here. I'm, I'm currently in our park, and there are just so many trees that have, you know, gotten out of hand. They're growing low to the ground, so I'm just going to clip some. Um, unfortunately, our chainsaw needs to be sharpened and we can't find the attachment, the saw attachment for our big pole cutter, which I like to use. Um, I kind of go around and, and trim everything. So today I'm just going to take some, some of these branches down, uh, sort of clean it up a little bit, and um, do my thing. The park is situated on about 10 acres on the north side of the chateau and is home to many species of trees. I love them all, but my particular favorite is this ring of horse chestnut trees. They're always the first to bloom, and this variety is white. We have some pink ones scattered around the property as well. And I'm standing in front of a uh, giant sequoia. This is Lincoln's favorite tree on the property and it's really beautiful. We have a total of three sequoias but this is, I'm not sure if this is the largest one, um, but it's a really cool tree. Lincoln's giant sequoia is about 120 feet tall and can live up to 3,000 years. We're guessing this one is about 100 years old. My next task is to get out here to begin pruning the plum, peach, and pear trees that are growing against the walls. So what happened? Why don't you, do you want to talk about it? Are you, are you too upset to discuss it? <laughs> yes. This, these pins hold the wheel in. If you pull that out, the wheel falls. Right. So the one that was over here fell out on its own. It's oh, and that's why you're holding out. a wheel. Right, because I lifted up yeah, the you back, left. the wheel stayed down on the ground. It's always something. Yeah. It would be nice if they were right here, but I'm sure they... They probably vibrated off vibrate somewhere. Because the top three probably vibrated off, and the thick one still stayed on them, because that's kind of heavier, I guess. Well, let me know if you find them. <laughs> I, I doubt... I mean, maybe. They're somewhere in the garden, these little... Right, because when the deck's down... The weight of the deck holds the wheel in place. 
Okay. It's only when you lift it up that the pin matters. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, you know, we were going to buy a metal detector and never did. Maybe now's the time. <laughs> well, I think they're probably metal, but you see these when, when I bought some last time. Oh, they're plastic. They're now made of like nylon or something. The new ones. So it looks to me like the ones that are missing are metal. I don't, I, I, I'm not going to look for this. No, no, they could really, they could be anywhere. I know. Okay. Anywhere. I'm not going to bother. So it's a really beautiful morning. I'm out here about to feed the feral cats some food and probably give the donkeys some carrots. I detest the sound of humans chewing, but for some reason love to hear the donkeys munching away. Maybe I should start an ASMR donkey chewing YouTube channel. Our LA is a quarter of a mile long, or a little over 400 meters. We need to clear any fallen branches from the plane trees before spring arrives, so we're able to begin mowing. We also have a back driveway that needs clearing on a more regular basis. Since living here, we've had about three trees fall across it. So we're standing here at the entrance to our <laughs> LA chateau. Yeah. It's, not, it's not very pretty, is it? Um, no, it needs a little work. We're still trying to determine what we're going to do with this area. Um, eventually we'll put gates in, mm -hmm. but we don't have Gates or money. We don't have gates or money. Gate so, money. So um, maybe we can just put like a police line, like do not cross. Yeah. Yeah. So so eventually we'll do the gates, but for now we just sort of need to clean up the area. So the the LA is lined with plane trees, and I know you counted them. How many do we have? Well, there were originally 130. Right. Few are missing, maybe 10. So we're down That's to 120. 100, 120. But they are planted in a zigzag, two rows on each side. We have a plane tree behind us and it's completely covered with ivy. So we need to take that down. So um, mm -hmm. you need to go do that. You mean the ivy, take the ivy yeah, down. Yeah, don't take the tree down. <laughs> it's okay, just making sure we're on the same page. Well, I'm just cutting them off, trying to get as much out of the bottom as possible, but cutting them off so what's above is going to die. I've been looking at this poor tree for a couple of years now and it's just and it's sort of being swallowed by these trees that I absolutely hate. It's a type of laurel and they're very invasive and it they just grow like weeds so we need to thin these out as well. They grow they're, they're awful. They're just awful trees. Here. I don't know if they were planted, really. Yeah. 
you know, the, the top will definitely, everything above here will die. Yep. Because it's been cut off. So will that do the trick now? Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. With these little ones that... Mm -hmm. too, but. Cool. This is an example of a plane tree that was covered in ivy. The roots were removed in the fall and now we can take the dead ivy off. So anybody that knows me knows I have a soft spot for animals. You know, over the years I've rescued dogs and, and cats and reunited them with their owners and I don't know what it is, but it can be a little bit overwhelming. We have another addition to our family, and I'll show you. This is, um, this is our newest addition. I'm not a fan of hunting. I don't uh, agree with it. I don't like it. I don't know how this little guy or lady passed away, but Lincoln and I were at a brocante last weekend. And I saw this and my heart just sunk. I thought, oh my gosh, what a, what a, what a beautiful creature that in my head, I'm going to say this, this fox died of, na of natural causes um, and lived a beautiful life. But in all reality, I'm, I'm not sure. But I know, um, I just felt like I had to have it, <laughs> give it a better life. I think there's something wrong with me. I know some people are going to be creeped out by this and think, oh, how could you bring that into your house? I, I just, I felt so bad and he or she will be very happy with us. I just have to make sure that I maybe have a sign in front of it or something saying, you know, we do not condone hunting or, you know, the chateau will not contain, you know, animal heads or anything, anything like that. But I just, I don't know, something drew me to this little thing. I think it's because we have a fox in our barn. I love foxes. Lincoln was really, really creeped out by it and was resistant at first and then I I sort of convinced him and he he went and got it it was still there yesterday we're not fans of um trophy hunting or anything like that so this is our new um furry friend we still haven't come up with names uh one of my daughters wanted to name it Lincoln so that's on the table but I again I don't know if it's a boy or a girl so maybe we'll have to come up with a, a more neutral name so if anybody has any name suggestions let us know in the comments yeah I hope you're not too creeped out I just think it's beautiful and one of my all-time favorite movies is Fantastic Mr. Fox so if you haven't seen that one it's it's good where did Enzo go are you scared <laughs> I wonder if, I don't know what the animals are going to say. Are you scared of fox? Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. If you're new here, this is Mimi. She was the Chateau barn cat when we purchased the property. She lived a solitary life outside year round with virtually no human contact. She eventually introduced herself after my persistent nagging. I managed to get her to the vet and we soon found out she had squamous cell carcinoma. She's now an indoor cat. So here I am with Mimi. I thought we'd give you a little update. She is 100% cancer-free and doing really well. She still has her cone on because of an incident before Christmas. Uh, she pawed at her nose and um, it was still healing. And uh, essentially half of her nose came off. So <laughs> it was a bad situation, but she's going to recover. She's fine. She just needs the cone for probably another week or two, I, I think. Um, but she's a different kitty being in the house. She's just so relaxed and happy, and she's a lap cat and uh, enjoying her blankets and toys and catnip. and Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You're the best, aren't you? Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.